Hi everyone, welcome to the Thrifty Jewel where life is full of second chances. I'm Paula and I'm a full-time reseller. Today I am in my laundry room and I am cleaning purses. Um, if you can tell out the window here, we got some snow and I don't know if you can see the water, but the lake is starting to freeze over. So it's cold and frosty out. So I decided to stay warm and cozy today and clean some purses indoors. I just recently purchased a coach handbag box from ThreadUp and I did the unboxing on a video and I can link that below if you are interested in that. And today I am cleaning up the purse. I have a couple of different methods that I use for cleaning purses. I have another coach purse cleaning video that I did with a foamy shampoo and I just kind of wiped it clean with that. And I can link that video below also if you're interested in that. Today I am gonna be doing full immersion in the sink cleaning on some of these bags. I just cleaned this coach wallet and it's still wet and it needs to have some drying time. But this wallet was really dirty. You can check out the unboxing video and um, I don't know if you can tell from the camera how dirty it was, but it was pretty dirty, especially on the inside. So I was able to get this pretty clean. It's wet, as I said, it has to dry. It'll probably take about 24 hours for it to dry. The inside is more like a uh, like vinyl or leather. And once this dries, I'm going to polish this up with some uh, leather conditioner. We're gonna let that one dry and I'm gonna show you how I'm going to clean this bag. This is a really pretty bag. It does have some um, marks and dirt on it. So I'm gonna get this one in the sink and get it going here. All I use is a little bit of lukewarm water and I use Dawn dish soap. I figure if it's gentle enough to use on little duckies and other wildlife, that it's gentle enough to use on coach purses. So this is what I use when I'm doing the cleaning in the sink. Before I immerse the purse inside the water, I'm going to work on getting the ink stains off from the inside of the purse. There was quite a few ink marks inside this purse. Um, I just started working on it, but I forgot to hit record on the camera. So what I was doing was pouring alcohol onto the um, ink spots and then using a cotton pad and this is the ink that's coming off. Just using this to kind of blot on where the ink spots are. And I'm gonna change my pad here because that one is getting pretty blue. But um, I'm just gonna go around on the inside of the bag right now, and I'm going to work on getting a lot of this marker off. There are a couple of spots that I tried to put alcohol on. I don't know if you can see right here. It's kind of dark in my laundry room. I have a light here, but it's just not um, bright enough. There are a couple of um, ink spots that are a little more stubborn. I'm going to use this Amadex ink and stain remover on the more stubborn areas to see if I can get it off. I have this linked in my Amazon storefront below if you would like to check that out. It works pretty well. I always use the alcohol first and whatever the alcohol doesn't get I use the Amadex and I'll show you here. I just put it on where this long stain was and it's already coming off. So this works really well on um, areas that are a little more stubborn that alcohol won't work on. So I will link that below. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for a few, work on these ink stains, and when I get them all done, I'm gonna start recording where the purse goes into the sink. Okay, so I have taken about 10 minutes cleaning these ink stains, and I have to say I'm very impressed with how it all came out. So I'm gonna show you here, this was full of ink stains. I don't know if the person who had this purse used it for school or what, but it was completely full of ink and marker stains. Well, I used rubbing alcohol first, and then there were a couple of spots, like I said, that were um, a little more stubborn, and that's where I used the ink and stain remover that I'll link below. Also, I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite cleaning tools. This is a little brush that I got off of Amazon. It's for suede and it's for cleaning shoes. It has a stiff bristle brush on this side, and on this side it has a rubber like scrubby and I love this side right here. Um, it also has like some little um, edges where you can use to clean out like um, areas on the sole of shoes and that sort of thing. But this little tool right here I used on the ink stains and I just rubbed it over top of the ink stains and they came right out with this. So this is a great little tool to have. It's very inexpensive. I will link it below as well. Um, I don't know what it's called. I think it's just a suede cleaning brush, but I'll link that below. So I'm really impressed with how um, just a little bit of elbow grease removed the ink stains from inside this purse. I'm very happy. Um, so now I'm going to turn the purse inside out and I'm going to put it into the sink. Okay, so I'm having some technical difficulties today with this laundry room filming setup. 
Um, so I'm gonna be holding this for a minute while I just show you. In the sink here, I have lukewarm water and some Dawn dish soap. I made sure that the sink was really clean before I'm putting the purse down inside there. Um, there is some staining on the sink just from age, um, but the sink is clean. So, so I'm gonna go ahead, I decided to leave the purse um, inside out first and clean the inside. All I'm gonna do is immerse the purse, that rhymes. Um, and I'm going, sorry if the camera's shaking. I was having some problems with the way the tripod was holding the camera over the sink and I was afraid of my camera going into the water so I decided to go ahead and hold it. So I'm going to um, go ahead and let this soak for a few minutes and then I'm going to do some rinsing on it and then I'm going to turn it inside out and wash the outside and I'll be right back. So Okay, so I've already done the inside of the purse and I went ahead and turned the um, purse inside out or right side out, whatever. And I got it soaking for a few minutes like this. I'm going to take this little tool and I'm going to use the scrub brush and scrub over the purse. And I can't do that while I'm holding the camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop filming and I'm going to scrub brush this purse very lightly and see how clean we can get it. So real quick, I wanna show you, I turned this bag inside out to dry off the inside and it just came out so beautiful. I don't know if you could tell in the video, but this whole corner over here was just, blue marker um it came out so nice and clean there is a couple of little marks that i am working on real quick to um remove the ink stain this is the amadex ink and stain remover and this is my little tool here i'll just show you real quickly i just sort of rub i just take it and rub the rubber i like this rubber side um, i feel like it's a little more gentle uh, i just work the ink remover in and any spots that I see um, that have ink on it, I am going to just go over it with that ink remover. Um, but yeah, this just looks gorgeous. You look at the before and afters of this bag. It was so filthy inside and it just looks great. All right, so I took the towels and I pressed the water out of it by hand. I forgot to mention before I put it in the water to clean it, I. Uh, remove the little hang tags here and I didn't want to put those in the sink so um, I just put those back on but um, so far this bag looks gorgeous I know that it has to take some time to dry and the way I dry it is I stuffed it with some dry towels and I'm just going to let it hang there and let the water drip into the sink if there's any left and it's probably going to take 24 hours for it to completely dry then when it's all done drying, I will uh, remove the towels, obviously. And I'm going to use this um, Doc Martens Wonder Balsam to clean and shine all the gray areas, which is leather. And that will condition all of that and shine it up. And it should come out absolutely gorgeous. The purses are drying. I cleaned three bags today and one wallet. They're all hanging here to dry. Um, they're not completely dry yet, but I just wanted to... Um, quickly update this is the one that I filmed cleaning and it is coming out really really nice it is still a little bit damp and I'll turn it around here for you so you can see it is just beautiful all of the stains that I can see so far are gone I still have to take the um, wonder balsam and shine up the leather once it's all dry this is another signature bag that I cleaned today this one is packed with towels to help hold the shape of the bag. It's a hobo style bag. I really like this bag a lot. This is not a factory bag. This is a factory bag. Um, but this one has a beautiful like charcoal suede bottom. So when it's all dry, I'm going to use the suede brush to um, brush that and soften it up. There was a lot of dirt in the sink when I soaked this one. Um, I didn't realize how dirty it was because it is black and I didn't realize until I actually had it in the sink and I seen how dirty it was. Um, the wallet up here is drying and then there's this white leather purse here. Now, if you watch the unboxing video, this was the worst purse in the box. It had, um, the front of it is gorgeous. The problem is on the back, it looked like a Little kid must have took a marker to it and scribbled all over the back of it. Um, <laughs> you can still see the marks on it, but it is 95% better than it looked when I pulled it out of the box. I didn't think I was even gonna get it this clean. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get these marks out of the back of this bag. Um, I used the ink remover, I used alcohol, and I also used a magic eraser just to absorb into the leather to uh, come out. The funny thing about this bag is it's like brand new on the inside. It's super clean. Um, so if I end up not being able to sell this bag because of the marks on the back, I'll just use it for a summer bag for myself. Um, I love coach purses and I'll just add it to my collection if I can't sell it. I think that um, it looks so much better than it did when I first got it. And if you watch that video, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, these purses are just gonna hang here until tomorrow morning and then I will finish the video and show you how I shine up the leather on these purses and I'll see you soon. So it is the next day. The purses are all dry and ready for preview. I'm really happy with the way they came out. We decorated our house over the weekend and I decided to film in front of the tree. It is a winter wonderland outside right now. I'll throw a little footage in right here of the view that I'm looking at right outside my window and it's just so beautiful. So, oh, my little doggie, <laughs> Sapphira, she loves the snow. She's so excited. <laughs> Get your tail, get your tail. You love the snow? <laughs> this is a winter wonderland in Northern Michigan. And it is beautiful. This is, we are on a lake and the lake is freezing over and the snow is on top. And it's just so pretty. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the purses. Um, this bag is the bag that I cleaned in front of you all. And this bag had um, some staining on the leather uh, circle here in the front. It all came out. There was a few marks on the bag here and there and especially on the bottom. It came out awesome. I love the color. And the inside of this bag was what was the big problem. There was a lot of marker inside this bag. Let's see if I can get a whole view of it here. After it dried, I used some of this Doc Martens um, Wonder Balsam. You open it, you have this little sponge inside here. And um, this is the balsam here. And you just rub the sponge into the balsam and then use the sponge to apply it to the leather. And that's all I did. I just rubbed it all around to condition the leather. I'm really happy with this bag. And the second bag, I didn't clean on camera, but you did see this while it was hanging and drying. I washed this bag the same way that I washed the blue bag in the sink with some Dawn dish soap. And this is a black signature bag and it came out so nice. The water on this bag, when I put it in the sink, it was just so dirty. And um, on the bottom, the bottom is um, suede. I used my little handy brush here to brush out the suede after it dried. If you do not have this little brush and you are a reseller, you need to get this brush. This brush works for a lot of different things and I will link it below. It is a great little tool to have in your kit. And so I used it to brush the suede and this bag just came out beautiful. Has this little turn lock here. Um, the inside of this bag wasn't dirty to begin with. So um, it came out really nice. This is what I used for the bottom of the coach purse that had the suede on the bottom. This is a great suede cleaner. So if you're looking for a suede cleaner, this is a great one to use. I'll make sure I link that below. Then the little brown wallet, the signature wallet, this came out so nice and so clean. Um, the inside of here was full of marks and it came out clean. Um, I did forget, I just remembered, um, I did forget to uh, use the Wonder Balsam on this inside here. I still have to do that. I'm gonna leave that open so I can remember to do that, but that came out so nice. Let me show you the white one. I did have another purse in the haul that is not shown here. Um, it is a brown leather vintage coach purse, and I will just show you a picture here of how it came out. The only thing I had to do with that bag was I used some of these uh, leather wipes that I got on Amazon. I'll link those below as well. And I wiped down the whole purse and then I used some of the Wonder Balsam to just condition it and it came out beautiful. So I didn't have to really do any cleaning to that other than those two little things. So I didn't put that in the cleaning hall. But this is the white bag that was in question 
of whether I was going to be able to get it very clean. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to remove the marks in the back um, as much as I wanted to, but I do think that it is a really big improvement. This bag was the one that had the marker all over the back of it. I did not clean this bag in the sink. Um, I didn't want to immerse the bag in water. So all I did with this one was I cleaned it with the leather wipes really good. And then I, of course, used all the different ink products on the back to try to remove the ink. And then I used the Wonder Balsam to condition the leather. And that's really all that I used um, on this bag other than the ink removing products that I used on the back to try to get it off. The inside of this bag was in really great condition. Um, surprisingly. So I didn't do anything to the inside. So I'll show you the back here. Um, you can still see some of the marks here. I do think that this is a huge improvement compared to what it was. And I do think that this is still in sellable condition. All I will do is make sure that I take really good photos of the flaws on the bag. And other than the back, I mean, if you're carrying this bag like this, you're not gonna see those flaws anyways. So this bag is still a very gorgeous coach bag. So that is how I clean handbags. It takes a little bit of effort and a little bit of elbow grease, but if you're getting designer bags that are really uh, sellable items, it's worth the effort and the elbow grease, in my opinion, to clean them up for resale. I will make sure that I link all of the products that I use to clean these bags in the description below. So make sure you go and check those out. That is all I have for today. I will see you next time in my next video. Have a great day. Um, it takes a little bit of elbow and I just wanted to say no. <laughs> so I don't even know how to end this video. I don't know how to end this video.